we're demoing two products here today. The first one we're going to look at is the MySan V series. Um, basically, what this is, this is our tape backup solution. Um, currently, right now in the IT industry, and not just in IT, but with computers in general, the industry standard is tape backups. Um, what we've done here was we went ahead and we virtualized everything. Uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and we create virtual devices, push them out across the network, and attach them to individual workstations. Um, each virtual device, and then we can take one virtual device and connect it to your workstation and actually shows up as a locally attached piece of hardware or, or tape device. Um, if we want to take a look at this interface real quick and I can show you what we have, basically what we can do is we can configure virtual devices. As you can see, we have virtual tape drives and virtual stackers or virtual libraries, tape libraries, stackers, auto loaders. It's all pretty much the same thing. Um, let me go ahead and highlight one of those things there for you. And as you can see, it has a tape drive installed in this library and you can manage all your tapes right in here. And what you can do is you can push this out across your network through iSCSI and attach it to your local workstation. And if we take a look at my device manager right here, as you can see, I have the two libraries and a tape drive, and I have that actually showing up on my local laptop. As you can see, there's nothing really attached on the back end, but it's now showing that it has two tape libraries connected to it, and also standalone tape drives as well. And primarily what you would use this for is for tape backups. Uh, we understand that everyone's data is important to them. Uh, it happens to everyone where you're working on a project, something happens and the data gets corrupted and your project, you know, it goes down and you need to recover it quickly. With this solution, what you can do is you can set up backup schedules and what happens is you would point your backups to one of these devices, either the tape library or one of these tape drives. And so you can back up your project to either one of these things and at that point, what, what it does is it takes your data and it stores it across to our RAID array right here. And as you can see these bays, this is the actual RAID array, and they come in a RAID 5 configuration with a hot spare, so there's an additional layer of protection there. So if you lose a hard drive, your data is still intact. You don't lose it. Um, and we also have a hot spare configured with this guy too, so if you do lose a drive, it rebuilds that drive back into the array so your data is protected and there's no downtime. Um, after it completes the backup to the RAID, our system automatically knows the backup is complete through either a timeout or an eject command. And what it will do then at that point is offload it to physical tape. On this particular unit right here, we have a LTO4 drive connected to it. Um, LTO4 drive also gives you 800 uh, gigabytes worth of storage, native capacity, and upwards to 1.6 terabytes on a single tape compressed data. Uh, 